Okay, so a friend of mine showed me an awesome trick using equipment that I actually already had. If you live in the US, you have probably been hearing a lot of news that sounds a little bit like this. 10 million are under winter weather alert. Once in a generation storm. Blizzard snow. It's not a snow. I am not so sure that this is a once in a generation storm event, but I am sure that what I'm about to show you could have stopped this Land Rover from hitting both a Tesla and a Porsche at the same time. Man, I hope you had good insurance. Okay, so cam chains, also known as speed chains, come into play in this first scenario quite a bit. See, humans are pretty inherently lazy, and a lot of times we will talk ourselves out of using safety equipment just strictly because of how long it takes to actually set up and actually use it correctly. I see people do this all the time with traditional road chains, and I don't wanna pull over and put them on, it's too big of a pain in the butt, right? We've all done this before in our head, I'm pretty sure. The thing that's so nice about cam chains or speed chains is they go on so fast that you don't don't really have that little voice in your head trying to talk you out of it. So they're super easy to use. So if you've just got a little icy patch on a trail that you're on and you just wanna get around it and make sure that you're safe and you're gonna have traction, it's pretty easy to talk yourself into actually using them. That guy really did almost get run over by his own car. Crazy. I have not found myself in that situation before. Okay, another reason that speed chains are great is they can be universal. I'll show you how to size it to your individual tire and wheel, but in a pinch, you can use it on just about any size tire and wheel. You can use it to get your car out, you can use it to get your buddy's car out. Speed chains can also be used in sub-ideal situations. What I mean by that is like when you're already stuck and it's incredibly hard to get normal chains on your vehicle. This comes in handy in mud, sand, and clay, especially when you just need that tiny bit of extra traction to get back on the road or get momentum moving forward again. Speed chains are also useful for many other things at camp. So they're a multi-purpose tool. You could use them for a tourniquet on your leg. You could use them as tie downs. You can use them for to hold up a hammock. You can use them to hold up your pants. I've used them for that on the river before. They're just really handy pieces of equipment to have around. Okay, so really quick, let's run through how you set these things up and you use them on your truck. All right, so first you start off with a cam strap. I like the NRS four footer. It works great with my 37 inch tires. Next, you grab some heavy duty chain. Now you size your piece of chain against your tire. Make it short enough that it won't rub against your rim. There's no need to scratch all the paint off. Cut your chain to size. Loop your cam strap through one end of the chain and secure it to your tire. I like to mark the ideal position for the cam strap with a permanent marker to speed up the install. This helps me go fast without having to reposition the cam strap to make sure that it's rubbing against the tire and not the rim. Install one or even a couple on each tire to help you get out of a jam or through a particularly hairy part of the trail. Then go to camp and use your cam straps to hang your hammock. One thing to remember is this is only gonna help you with traction if you keep your tires spinning. If you stop and are on your brakes, it's just gonna go to the flat part of your tire and you're gonna slide just like you would without the cam straps. Obviously, there's a ton of gear out there that's really similar to what I just showed you that you can buy online. I've noticed a lot of it has really annoying buckles to use and is also very expensive. I hope this video was helpful. YouTube thinks you will find this video helpful as well. Luckily, I have a cam chain with me, otherwise I'd be panicking.